All right, so we are live at uh, the Orchard, and uh, in this match, I am Caden Nemoff. I am playing with Krista Gretschkiva, um, and we're playing against Nico Montoya and Angie Walker. Okay, so we're going to watch it in real time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a quick point. Uh, we're going to just watch this one more time here. We've got Caden with the serve and the stack. Just a good location, good volley. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna break that down in slow-mo. First things first, um, both teams are stacking here. Um, in this case, Nico is a lefty, so Angie's gonna be playing on the ad or the odd side, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna be playing the ad side or the odd side as well. So in this match, it's not your very traditional match where the girls are playing cross-court of each other, but actually in this match, the girls are playing in front of each other. Yeah, so um, here we go. We got Caden serving and sliding over. Okay, and let's see what happens. We got Nico with nice topspin. Pretty deep return there. You go with the drive there. Ooh, look at that. What What's uh, something you want to say about this location of this drive there? Caden? Yeah, so, uh, so of course, in pickleball, you should be going for your serve, um, especially in mixed. You want to have a big serve. You guys will find that people will make more mistakes if you guys have a big serve. And what my serve did was, even though Nico did hit a good return, he was hitting his return and then coming in, which I saw. Mm -hmm. So I saw him moving in, and I was able to kind of get him in an uncomfortable spot, which, I mean, he still hit a pretty good ball off of it. But yeah. I was... Look, I get him pretty jammed there. Yeah, and this is the dominant side, Nico being a left-handed player. Right. Um, if he was right-handed, you know, a good place to attack is his right. But since he's left-handed, we got that dominant side attack. Now, what Kaden was just saying there, um, good deep serves are really important here. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad return um, from Nico because it's a great return, but hitting your return hard sometimes you know, it, give, it gives you less time to get up here. For sure. And one thing I would just say here, he doesn't come to the best split step there. Right. Um, and he's still moving, actually. So I think if he were to maybe split step right around here, I think it would have been a better outcome. But I know he's trying to close into the line. And by the way, I do this sometimes as well. Lower level do, um, players do that do this at times. I know we're trying to close line here and trying to close that gap, but when our opponent is driving the ball, we want to split step and stay more balanced and be in that open stance. You can see Nico here taking a few steps after, you know, you hit that ball and he yeah. kind of gets jammed up here. Right. But here we go. And Caden, you saw that as an opportunity to uh, poach off that drive there. Yep. Why don't we talk about your first initial attack, though? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, clearly, Nico actually returned to me um, because a few points earlier than this, I, I had been trying to be a little bit more active in poaching. Um, so they were trying to kind of take me out of the poaching game by having me, you know, be the third shot dropper or driver. Um, now me being me, I am very, very aggressive. And once I kind of saw the awkward spot that I caught, uh, that I caught Nico in, yeah, right here. I split step as he's hitting the ball. But as soon as I see how awkward he is hitting yeah. this shot, you want to I make... immediately start moving to kind of add pressure. Yep. So you can see here, this is a good ball. You find this ball and actually this is a great ball attack. I would say. Caden, your attack probably wasn't intended to be that high. No. A high back. No, there. but but that being said, um, I knew that off of this ball, it was a little bit floaty, which was going to kind of put them in the defensive, yeah. right? So see how they're kind of shifting their feet a little bit to kind of get themselves in possibly a better position. Yeah. Um, I knew that this spot here in the middle would be pretty awkward for both. So I thought maybe they would move a little bit over to the middle, and actually they did kind of, but Angie also has a great two-handed backhand, and I will say I did float it a little bit high, but I was able to kind of catch her in an awkward spot where I caught her late. 
Yeah, so this is a, just a really good shot. I would like to see this attack um, probably a little bit lower. Um, and I think she kind of just is, a, yeah, you're right, a, yeah, little late a little late on the ball. And what do you do after this first attack, Caden? Again, if you're being aggressive and you drive that first ball, you see the second one, and you're going for the second one, you close more middle. You can see you st yep. in split stepping again, yep. getting ready for the next ball. And you can see here, boom, you have this high one and you just you just send it nice to the down to the feet. Yep. You don't do anything super fancy. Um, you just find your first attack. Yeah. Always be ready for the counter. Right. I think is really, really important. Yep. Well and keep in mind, right? Whether you guys are attacking or defending yourselves, you guys are always trying to set yourselves up in the point. So even though I know they're going to kind of look to, for me to attack middle. I tried to go to Angie's backhand, and luckily I caught her a little bit late, which set up that nice, easy high ball for me to send right to Nico's feet. Yeah, so now we're going to watch it one more time in real time motion. All right, here we go. Back in real time. Kaden with the serve. That return we talk about. Little late split step there and the Damn. poach. Okay, so we're going to see that one more time. Quick point. That's what we love to see. Super quick point. Again, make sure you split step. And again, if you're attacking, make sure you clog that middle like you did there, Caden. Really, really good. So if you all are looking to poach and things like that, hopefully that was really, really helpful. Make sure that after that return, again, you get as close as you can to that non-volley zone line, but also make sure that you split step. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.